Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. Okay, it's kind of weird having a full party. You know, we've gone so long. We really haven't had eight people in our party yet in the game, have we? So we're still looking for this dude's house. There's nothing else over here. Oh, there is this. What's your fighting style called? Oh, I'm a Guardian user. I fight with special cards infused with power. Guardian user, huh? When I first met you, I was surprised how you could fight with a piece of paper. When dwarves create accessories, they carve charms into them, right? It's similar to that. I see. So if I buy some paper and draw some charms on it, it won't work. It's a secret art. Darn. If you really want to learn it, you could become one of us. How do I do that? Um, like marrying? Okay. What? I just need to marry, right? Um, I... Uh, no, I mean, if you want to, then... I just need to marry someone in your village, right? You're so insensitive. So look at the synopsis. Hmm. Well, maybe it's through the other way in the forest. Ozette, okay. This is where uh, Prisea's from, right? Boy, we have to follow her. Huh? Yeah. Game actually took her out of my party, I'm kind of surprised. Oh, I should put Regal in, we should use Regal a little bit. We are still a wanted criminal. for you. My job awaits. Goodbye. Yeah, we could just follow you inside, Only right? Only Prisea can retrieve the sacred wood used in the ritual at the church. I'm quite pleased that she has finally returned. <laughs> you don't seem weird at all. You seem like a totally normal dude. That man. He's a half-elf. And how the hell do you know that? He is? Now that you mention it, didn't we see him in Mel Tokyo too? He's creepy. I agree, but uh, I gotta say that I feel sorry for the guy. I mean, he has to deal with the fact that there are magnificent specimens of males around like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you two are on the same level. I heard Damn. You At any rate, we should have a talk with Perse. Yeah. As a body. What the? This is not cool. How could this happen? M 
most likely the effect of Exphere's parasitism. Prisea has no idea what's become of the person in that bed. How could that... Prisea, are you not coming with us? I must do my job. Oh, please. Blowing off work Let's is fun. Let's leave Prisea here for now. Let's not. There's a dead body in that bed. Here? If we try to move her, she will just fight back. Let's go see Altessa by ourselves to ask him about repairing the key crest. Yeah. That weird guest of Perseus. He was in Maltokyo too, wasn't he? Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this. I can sense the smell of blood on him. Let's hurry to Altessa's place. It's dangerous to leave Persea with that man. She's moved. Doesn't say anything different, but... Would really like that skit to pop back up. Say, Regal, why do you keep those handcuffs on? These are the symbol of my crime. A symbol? A crime symbolized by handcuffs? I know, you're a handcuff thief. Don't think so. Oh, that's not it? Hmm. <laughs> Then you ran around causing trouble by putting handcuffs on people? I'm sorry. I suppose I should have said what it was in a way that is easier to understand. <laughs> oh. Colette, are you alright? Yeah, I stumbled. <laughs> I'm clumsy. Are you hurt? No, no. I'm fine. Okay, we gotta find this dude's house. Wherever the hell he is. Can't go up here. We can fight this thing. No, you don't. Oh, well, she died quickly. Kick him in the face! Okay, they were easy. So Regal kicks dudes all over the place. Oh, Altessa's house. Homie, give us a hand. Yeah, let's just walk in. Don't knock. Who is it? Me. Uh, excuse us. We've heard that there's a dwarf living here. Is there any chance we could see him? You desire a meeting with Master Altessa. Please, come inside. You're a robot. My name is Lloyd. We've come in regards to Persea. We heard about you from Kate and Cybac. Leave. What? What? I don't want anything more to do with that girl. Get out of here. What was that all about? I apologize. The master does not want to get involved with Persea. Yeah, but we want him to get involved with Persea. Why? We need him he to... He doesn't care if she dies? It is not that. It is because the Master regrets what he has done. We need him to, like, then fix please. her. Then please, save Persea. All she needs is for her key crest to be fixed. I do not know if that would truly be in her best interest. Why? could anything be worse than living in that cruel condition while waiting to die? 
If you are that committed, then you should search for inhibitor ore. Prosea's key crest isn't made out of inhibitor ore? Correct. Her crest is. Tabitha, what are you doing? Get rid of them. I apologize. I must return. Please come back again. I will attempt to persuade him. That's interesting. Where can we find the inhibitor ore? I've heard it's mined in the mountain range that extends between Altamira and the Ymir forest. I would like to help if you're going to create a key crest for Prisea. I can lead you to the mine. Just what is your relation to Prisea anyway? There is none. Yet you sure seem concerned about her. Well, either way, you haven't done anything suspicious so far. You're welcome to come along with us. Inhibitor ore is found relatively near the surface of the X-Sphere mine. The mine I know of is across the sea from here, on the southern continent. You said Altamira, right? That place is awesome! Let's stop by there on the way! We don't have time to hang out at that gaudy resort. The sea? We're going out to sea again? Yeah. Okay then, let's go. Yeah, let's hurry. By the way, this has been bugging me for a while now. Haven't we met somewhere before? Also, dude, what do you think of my pink dreads? Fine, ignore me. Not very friendly, are you? The funny, thing, the funny thing is about Zealous' outfit, it is certainly strange, but it is a very nice shade of pink. That Tabitha, Tabitha girl was a little strange, you know? Really? How should I put it? She reminds me of you, when you lost your heart as part of the angel transformation. Perhaps it is because she does not engage in respiration. What? Are, are you saying she wasn't breathing? Are you serious? So it appeared. I suppose she could have undergone heavy training to breathe silently, but... Don't tell me she's an angel too. She doesn't seem like a bad person. We can't be too careful. Hmm. There is an item shop in here. Hmm, where's cloaks, Regal? There's a Hydra Dagger. Where's the weapon shop? Here? Yeah. Oh, well, no, actually. What is this? Looks like a carpenter's house or something. What is up here? The item shop? You're all with her, aren't you? Her? Prisea, you were with that monster. Don't call Prisea a monster! What? She hasn't aged a day for the longest time. What are you talking about? That's not all. Even though her father's dead, she won't even make him a grave. She's a monster. Half-elves are nothing compared to her. Will you guys take that monster and get out of this village? I'll thank you for it. 
You won't regret it. How can you say that? Oh, so you're saying that a child that never grows up isn't weird? Well, <laughs> but there's a reason why Prisea is like that. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't change how freaky she is. I would doubt you outsiders would understand. Outsiders. It's true that we didn't watch Prisea stay young while everyone else here grew old. But that's not Prisea's fault. It's the same reason half-elves are persecuted. Yes, if half-elves could live apart from humans like the elves, things might be different. But half-elves have no choice but to live in human villages. And humans experience the difference in the passage of time and are constantly reminded of the fact that they are a different species. Let's save Persea. Nothing good can come out of it if she stays this way. This way. Also, where did that guy run to? There's nothing over here. So is there no weapon shop here? Guess not. Hmm. This is odd. Do need new items. I haven't bought any. I haven't gotten new items in a while. Okay. Exfer mines, huh? Right. What? Something wrong with that? Surely you know about it too. Exfer mines in the vicinity of Altamira. What else is there besides the Toys Valley mine? Ah. That one's that the ones that's connected by the tunnel to Mo Moria? <laughs> and if that's the one, think for a moment about who it is that owns the mountains in those areas. I'd guess it'd have to be the Lazareno Company. But so what? Oh, brother. Is your chest the only part of you that's well endowed? You better shut up or I'll smack you. Don't say it after you've smacked me. Sheesh. Set off this uh, the group around at Altessa's home. Uh, uh, Southern part of the continent or on a different continent? gotta be down there. Alright, so... Oh, there's a dock right here. Cool, cool. But 
Between Dirk and Altessa, I wonder who's the better craftsman. How should I know? As far as I can tell, Altessa possesses more advanced skills. Heart is more important than skills. Dad would never abandon someone in need. <laughs> You're getting upset just because he's your father. Okay, okay, wait. Let's make a turn around here. There we go. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, not the best at driving this thing. Okay. Okay, what's that? Should we go there? Oh, is that, that's, this is the bridge. Okay, no. Okay. Oh, where am I going? Are dwarves rare in Tethyala as well? Altessa is the only one I know of. So he's alone? He must be lonely. Hey, what's wrong? Ah, no. I was just wondering what Dad's doing right now. Ah, <laughs> Lloyd's getting homesick. No, I'm not. Go! Oh, I guess there's an invisible wall there. <laughs> Where the hell is a dock? Oh. <laughs> Doesn't it bother you, Colette? What? You know, being the Chosen. It's your own life. Don't you wish you could live it the way you want to? <clears throat> I'm living freely. Everyone is searching for a way so I don't have to sacrifice myself. But what if there isn't another way? We'll worry about that when the time comes. Even if I lose my body, my heart will still be free. So I want the world to become a happy place, just like my heart desires. You're amazing, Colette. I could never be like that. No, I just talk like that. If it really came down to it, I'm not sure I couldn't do it. I'm a pretty pathetic Chosen. No, you're really amazing. Compared to you, I... I need a doc. In fact, that's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.